In this episode, I'm going to show you a super easy way to get the RSI straight into your expert advisor. Check it out. There's a few things you need in order to complete this episode. First, I really recommend that you have a trading bot that's got all the system functions set up. So that's the init, dinit, and get tick function. Secondly, you need to have a working MetaTrader 5 terminal so that you can test the bot that we're about to build. Check out my previous episodes to figure out how to get those system functions working, and I'll see you there. All right, let's continue building our trading bot. So in the previous episode, we went through a little bit about how to set up your bot with the system functions, and now we're gonna be starting to add in the RSI indicator. It should be a little bit complicated to get across, so here's how we do it. First of all, we're gonna set up our little notification about what we're building. See for uh, my little co-pilot doing its thing there. So here, this is gonna be our RSI indicator. Okay. Next, we wanna have a look at defining it and we want it to return a double. So a double RSI. And we won't worry about putting in the period or anything like that for now. Okay, so we need to do a few things here, which is a little bit counterintuitive. So let me go through it with you. First of all, we have to initialize a buffer, which is a way of storing, um, that's where the, the RSI values are stored in memory. So we do that by, first of all, creating an array. Love commenting my code, super important, makes it much easier for me to interpret when I come back to it six months later. Okay, so there we've turned it into an array. Now we need to get a handle to the RSI. There. Now what we've done here is this symbol means to use the current symbol for whatever you've got on the graph. This period means to use whatever um, period you've got on the graph. So if you're looking at the M1, you'll get the one minute time frame and so on. And you can always set them to be something else if that's kind of what you want to do. And we're saying that we want to use the closing price. And for now, we're going to use the 14 um, RSI period. Okay. I'm going to check if our handle is valid. So at least the handle is invalid. Return zero. Okay. Assuming that it's not, we're going to move forward and start getting the value. So first we have to copy the values from the RSI handle into the buffer. Okay. So Okay, we can see here we've got an offset of one and we'll talk about that at another time. Okay, let's copy failed, return zero again, so saying it's not working. Okay, and assuming that it worked, okay, we get the RSI value. Perfect. Okay, and we return it. Right. Okay, let's see what happens when we run this. So if we, first of all, we'll save it and we'll compile it. See if it compiles properly. You can see that it did. No warnings, no errors. Okay, and then we're gonna get it to show us what it's doing here. So on our tick function, we wanna say double RSI is equal to the RSI. And then we wanna print the RSI value. Okay, so we'll compile that again, make sure that it's working. Okay, now if we go to our MetaTrader 5, I'll just pull it into the window here. I'm gonna add it to this US30 M1 chart. So there's my trading bot that we're building here. Okay, no parameters at this stage. Push OK. And if we go to our experts, you can see here that this RSI value is constantly changing as the price moves. Okay, so there you have the RSI has been added to your trading bot. 
in the next episode, I'll still continue to show you how to build your trading bot, so follow along and I'll see you there.